Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. And just a quick a little tutorial video before we move on to the next tutorial, um, or the next video in this series. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me uh, which distro uh, I would recommend for beginners. Now, look, I have no specific distro. I use a lot of Linux distros every day. As you can see right now, I'm using uh, Peppermint OS as my uh, desktop uh, distro. Uh, I use this as my daily driver on my main computer. And uh, the people have asked me, well, for ethical hacking, what Linux distro do I recommend? Well, uh, as you know, there are, well, uh, actually, you may not know that there are actually 12 to, I think, 16 uh, penetration testing distros uh, out there. And it can be really intimidating uh, selecting the correct one for you. And the truth is, there isn't a correct one. And the, what I'm, the reason I'm saying this is because I can install all those penetration testing tools on any version or any uh, Linux distro. And I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to install all those Kali or Parrot OS tools on Peppermint OS or any version or, uh, or any Linux distro for that reason or for that matter. Uh, for example, you can do it on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and you can actually use them as penetration testing distros. Uh, so uh, really, it, you, it all comes down to what you're comfortable with. So if you want to install these packages on any Linux distro, all you want to do is, um, by the way, I'm going to be showing this uh, just for the uh, Debian uh, distros. For Arc uh, videos, uh, maybe I'll make another one, but this is just for Debian uh, distros because that's what both Kali and ParrotOS are based off. So I'm just going to open a terminal here and I'm going to enter uh, my root. Uh, so I'm actually on my route right now, and uh, I have a couple of commands. I've put them in a text document. They will be in the description section, so you can just copy it from there if you don't want to type them out. Uh, so uh, first thing you want to do is uh, you want to uh, basically install Git. All right, so the only make sure you install Git so you can access the GitHub uh, repositories. Uh, so it's going to read the package. I already have uh, Git installed, so it's going to ask you to install it, and uh, you'll pretty much get install it. Uh, don't worry about this error code. This is a personal, uh, basically just something that happens in Peppermint OS. Next thing you want to add is the uh, is the Catulin. This is basically the, the repository on GitHub that basically gives you access to these tools. So you want to add that repository. So just add it. I already have it, so I really do not need it. As you can see, it just cloned it. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to turn the Catulin into a an executable. So you're going to use the chmod um, command. We're just going to paste that there and we're going to run it. And it's just, it's not going to give you any, uh, any uh, re result or any message. Uh, so pretty much after that, uh, you should be good. Now all you have to do is just launch Catulin. Um, just launch it. And there you are, Catulin. So basically, these are all the Kali Linux repositories. Uh, so as you can see, you can actually add them and update them. You can view, you can install the classic menu indicator and the install the Kali menu. So really, as I said, uh, you, it's not up, it, it's not really about the Linux distro. It's just about what suits you best. So as you can see, we have, if I just view the categories of what I can install, you have all the actual, um, the actual sections in the, in uh, both Kali Linux, Black Arc, um, actually in, on almost all penetration, uh, penetration testing distros, excuse me. Uh, so you have information gathering and there you can really find uh, tools like Nmap, HPing3, uh, Explico, Wireshark. So really you can install anything you need and more specifically what you need. So if you guys are really not keen on moving to Kali Linux or Parrot OS, don't worry, you can actually install all the packages from here and still run your distro the way it is. So you can actually run Ubuntu with these tools. And that's actually an advantage because Ubuntu is much stable than Kali Linux. Uh, but uh, I really have seen that Parrot OS is quite, quite stable. Uh, I have installed quite a bit of packages and it's run in pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Anyway, enough of that. This was just a quick little tutorial before we proceed. And just to clear up the, the, uh, the air on people who are still on the fence as to what uh, distro they want to, uh, they want to use. Anyway, guys, that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, quick reminder, I'm going to be continuing the ethical hacking series. Uh, the video will be right after this one. Uh, just a quick uh, reminder that tomorrow we're actually going to do the deep web uh, video. 
So that'll probably come anytime in the afternoon to the evening. I just wanted to let you guys know that's every Saturday. And uh, I also was thinking of starting a new series maybe on Sunday or even possibly on Saturday. Uh, basically an ask me a video where you can basically ask all your questions. Maybe we can run it live and I can answer them live. So yeah, that's up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. If it helped you, leave a like. If it didn't, uh, dislike the video and let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section or in, on any of my social networks. I will reply to your question. Um, if this video, uh, again, if this video did help you, please share the video. It really helps uh, a lot of people and it uh, will help me. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, have a fantastic day. Peace.